first and then we are at the beast of Morristown now this is Panther Creek disc golf course absolutely this course is easily the hardest course that they're going to be playing all weekend um, it was a long day on Saturday playing both courses in the same day absolutely so you can see here we got Chris Dickerson first up on the tee starting on hole three once again I'll mention because HB Clark the tournament director had the ladies start on uh, holes one and two so always starting on hole three during this tournament Looks like Chris has lined up the hazard flip down the left gap. Mm -hmm. A little early, a little left. That skip. Oh, it's a good row. Yeah. I mean, this whole uh, 625 feet. It definitely takes two hard throws to get down there to, to the basket. So even for these top pros. Yep. Chris stands Christian. still here. He's not having a run up. Yeah, nice. pinched up beside that tree. It's looking pretty good. Great shot. <laughs> to his third shot. <laughs> Absolute tap in Eagle 3. It's a good thing. Moving on to hole 4, it's a 660 foot par 4. What do you think about this hole, Seth? Um, well, once you get to the top of the hill, um, you're going to be looking down to the basket. It's pretty significantly downhill. The basket's out in the open field, so you're going to be throwing probably like a mid-range or, you know, fairway driver flick to the basket. Chris there with a really good drive out into the complete open. Mm -hmm. Chris here with a great drive. Can't really tell if that's in his way or not, but looks like he's going to be standstill and putter. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. Maybe a little left, a little shorter than he wanted. Yeah. That was a good three. If you get it. Mm -hmm. Dickerson's looking straight at the downhill here, so maybe a little bit of a death putt, but he's probably not even thinking about it. <laughs> probably many putts as Chris has made. <laughs> Doing his routine as always, no matter how far away he is. Mm -hmm. Dickerson coming off of a 42 at Morristown Kiwanis, 10:48 rated round that morning. Great putt. We'll be moving on to hole five, uh, 520 foot par four. I'm gonna give a shout out right quick to Morristown Signs for sending me these files of these signs here. So I uh, didn't have the option before. So just want to give them a shout out. If you're in the Morristown area and you need some signs done, check out Morristown Signs. This hole is probably the hardest hole we have in our town. Um, mm -hmm. it's completely uphill. Mm -hmm. Like it says 520, but it probably plays 700 feet. Oh yeah, for sure. And Dickerson just unleashing on a drive there. That is really good. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Dickerson going with the forehand as well, and he is way up. This is the longest drive you'll ever see on this hole. <laughs> He's actually able to see the basket from where his drive landed. Mm -hmm. it could be the first time anybody's ever seen the basket from that drive. Honestly. Yeah. Dickerson for his three. Yeah. I'm not going to be saying for his three very often on this hole unless the word Dickerson comes before that. Yeah. <laughs> not even mad if I'm putting from four from where he's at. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Yeah. That's a stroke on the field. <laughs> Absolutely. Zach Mountain at two down. Moving on to hole six, uh, 400 foot. This is a uh, very interesting hole. Um, there's guys going to be going this long turnover forehand. Turnover backhand for Zach. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of a pick and poke hole. This is um, one of the holes that still needs a more defined gap to cut out. Mm -hmm. For sure. You can see by the amount of angle they're putting on them. Dickerson here just he got knocked down early, but he got was very fortunate to, to land in a, a good spot there. Yep. Looks like a good shot. Mm-hmm. Run. This is Dickerson for his three. This is a par three. It's uh, it's one of those where you, I mean you just have to hope you hit some sort of line there, and he got down there for his uh, putting for a three here. 
Oh, unfortunate mm. rise. If not the only two. Rise to see no twos on there. Uh, moving on to hole seven, 450 feet. That's juicing that one a little bit. Yeah. Dixon looks like he's going to the forehand as well. Probably D1 of some sort if I had to guess. Mm -hmm. He went really high. And oh, yeah. You can see the basket up there. It's great. Behind one of the only trees. Yeah, he got knocked down, but he should have a putt there. Dickerson looking to get up and down, trying to get a... You know, he's definitely trying to get this birdie after that mm. last hole. Great birdie from BB. Same from Dickerson. Stress three birdie. Number eight, uh, 405 feet. Uh, pretty much straight. For me, I think that like a, a hyzer flip is probably the best option on this hole for, mm -hmm. a, for a lefty at least. Pro I would say the same probably for a righty, just something that's going to flip up like that. Oh, went a little bit too right on him. He got knocked down. Flash on the basket? Yeah, let's put that one in. Chris here stretched out about as far as he can possibly stretch out. <laughs> Come on. Oh, unfortunately didn't quite get as much turn on it as he wanted. Unfortunate four for Chris. Moving on to hole nine, 710 feet. This one would be. See what Dickerson can do here. I'm assuming D1. Uh, you think so? Looks like a gray D2. Gray D2. Okay. Overstable. He's just getting all of that one. That's a lot of turn on it. Oh my goodness, that's super high. Yeah, not yeah. bad. Good spot. Chris here with his easy putter approach. Yeah, I think he's got that one. Yeah. Absolute tap in for birdie for yep. Dickerson. Easiest birdie mm -hmm. in this whole ever. And sitting at 32 down now. Moving on to hole 10, 740. He made it out, but didn't get as much on Not where you want to be. Mm -mm. Looks like Chris is going to take a good run up here. Mm -hmm. now, I don't know if you could hear it there, but there's some distractions. A horn beeping and some kids screaming did not affect him one. Dickerson is lining up the big hyzer over the top here, which you don't it's see that very often. aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Definitely trying to play this one for the three. Got a very big run up. Looks like he's going to try to attack. Mm -hmm. Got that one up there. I don't know if he turned it enough, though. He got somewhat in there. A little in there on the ground. Mm -hmm. So you can see Dickerson here did get caught up a little bit earlier than he wanted, but it should get up and down for a four. Mm. It's going away on him a little bit. He's going to have to have a lift. Mm -hmm. Dickerson here putting for his four. See if he can get it up and in. Taking his time. Mm -hmm. Love to see that he puts his routine into it every time. Yep. And it obviously works out for him. Yep, they don't call him the robot chicken for nothing. <laughs> 33 down. Going on to hole 11. 620 foot par 5. This, uh, probably the hardest, one of the hardest holes in Morristown. This one in hole 5. This, this hole, um, you're going to want to try to just if you're a right-handed player, you want to throw that backhand hyzer and just get it going left and up the hill. Super uphill hole. Mm -hmm. 
focus on not hitting any trees. Looks like Dickerson's doing exactly that. Yeah, that's a great drive. Mm -hmm. Chris here with an absolutely crushed drive. He's mm -hmm. going to be trying to attack for the three, it looks like. Taking a big run up uphill. You mm -hmm. don't see that very often. Chris, no stranger to the courses in this area, though. Just He lives in, around the limestone area, so just about 45 minutes outside of Morristown. And that looked crushed uphill, I just left it left. Chris here for the amazing eagle on this hole. <laughs> yeah. I dare say this hole has not been eagled more than five times. Yeah, I was going to say probably not a handful of times. And probably all the other towns with Dickerson as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He gets it. That's a stroke on the field. Oh, for sure. That one has to be. Of course, in town now. So we're going to start out this back nine video on hole 12, 370 foot. Uh, Chris is going to be going with probably some sort of uh, turnover shot here. This is a good lefty hole or a flick for righties or a turnover as well. This is one of the few par threes on the course, so this is one of the holes that you really want to try to get that to. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good from Chris, maybe a little low. Yeah, he unfortunately got knocked down a little bit, way past the basket down there, so you'll see that on the uh, next shot there. Dickerson, as you see here, got caught up early on the right side. Once again, I've mentioned it in all the videos, but locals did a lot of work cutting out trees, so you're going to see some logs and limbs on, off the sides of the fairways here. And that's going to be it. So moving on to hole 13, 590 foot par 4. This one uh, is mainly about getting off the tee and getting out in the open, right? Yep. It is gettable, though, with how significantly downhill it is. Mm -hmm. If you hit the gap with a right-to-left moving shot, um, you can get some flex on a disc and get it to come back and give yourself a putt. Chris does exactly that there. Didn't quite flex it enough, but he did hit the gap, so he should be okay. Mm -hmm. be just left the rough rough <laughs> Chris here putting for the two so yeah Chris got quite a bit of distance on his drive Ooh. gave it a good bid the glow PA threes as well okay uh, Chris has his own signature series PA six down for Dickerson now moving on to hole 14 465 feet uh, this uphill all the way, yep. so it plays quite a bit longer than 465. This hole is really a bonus birdie. Uh, you have the bigger arm guys like Chris here um, are able to, you know, get their self a putt. So we'll see what he does here. Looks like a D1. A little bit of Anheuser on it, maybe. Big run up. He's ripped that one. Mm -hmm. That's way up there. So if he didn't hit those trees, I mean, he possibly could have been like that one out of his hand. No, he didn't turn it quite enough yet. Mm -hmm. Dickerson also outside the circle. Yep. Looks like he's putting over the branch. Lining it up, trying yep. to see what he can do. Yep. If anybody's got a chance to deuce this hole, it's him. Yeah. He actually goes over the branch. Oh, wow. <laughs> Great putt from Dickerson. And you can see he runs that one down. Absolutely. So he's pretty excited about that. Pick yourself up a PA3 if you haven't already. <laughs> this is what they do, apparently. At least in the hands of Chris. That's, that's just a great putt. That's a great putt. Moving on to hole 15, another par 4, uh, 650 feet. I would say this one a little bit more legit of a par 4 than the last one. Definitely. So it's, uh, as you can see, the path, the cutout fairway there uh, into the right in the woods over there is where it is. So they want to go over the hill and then up top the other hill and down to the right side. Looks like most of the righties you'll see, we're just going to throw that a little bit of turn maybe, just hyzer over to the left side. Mm -hmm. Um that's a great spot for Dickerson. He's going to be looking straight at the basket, but there, so he almost went a little bit past that. Dickerson, soft little putter, Anheuser shot here. It looks like 
Looks like he's probably going, I don't know, PA4 probably. Mm -hmm. Putting that one close, though. A little down the hill. Yeah, maybe just tap in threes you're going to see on this hole. Chris Putton, Putton from down the hill. Mm -hmm. Really lining it up, getting his routine in, as we mentioned. Love to see him do that. Make sure he's comfortable with the putt. Not quite. Sure, he was one to three after those. Both of those guys are one to threes after. Uh, Joey Lutz here, uh, just right behind him though, trying to chase him down. Moving on to hole six, power <laughs> as you can see there. Chris is lining up that wide hyzer as well. Mm -hmm. Probably X one if I had to guess. Big hyzer. Yeah, just lost that blue disc in the sky. Yeah. Unfortunately, that happens sometimes on these. I'm gonna be able to save this par from there, hopefully. So Dickerson looks like his hazard had a little bit more than he wanted, but he's got a long jump putt. Yeah. Step putt, rather. Not out of his comfort zone. Mm -mm. And just a little short. Mm -hmm. Is everybody tapped out? No. Uh, Dickerson's got a tap out here. Then we'll be moving on to 17. 17, I meant... 17, 635 foot, par five. Soft. Zach so no. didn't really like that one out of his hand. Yeah, he didn't look too happy. Not sure what Chris is throwing here. Well, you know, just a 500 foot shot through the woods. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's in great position. Dickerson with just a Looks like a soft little hazard shot here with a putter. PA3 maybe, I don't know. But that looks good. And yeah. I'd say at this point on round three, these guys know they've got to make things happen to try and catch up to Chris. Yep, the, uh, Chris is starting to pull ahead a little bit here. Mm -hmm. He's also putting for an eagle here in hole 17. Yep. Great, uh, Dickerson's putting together a round that nobody be uh, Dickerson trying to stretch that lead out even more now. Hole 18 is 365 foot, a little bit uphill, but it kind of flattens out and maybe a little bit downhill after you crest the top of that hill. That's looking good from Chris. Mm -hmm. Has turn. Fading back exactly where you want it yeah, to. Yeah, he's really close. And there's Chris for his two. One down for the tournament, 13 down for the round. Hole one here, 735 foot par five. Dickerson just throws the hyzer. Anywhere over there for those guys mm -hmm. is going to be okay for their second shots. Mm -hmm. Chris here, throwing his second shot. Look to be in a I don't know, D1, star stamp D1 there. Mm -hmm. Love those dies he has on there. And it's looking good. Oh, oh catches a tree. Mm -hmm. Chris, you're just going to toss up, throw in his third. Taking his time. Almost throws it in on this one, on a four on this one. Chris here with the easy four. Tap in. Yep. Hole two. It's a short one after all these long holes. 295 feet, par three, obviously. Um, just like a little Roddy Hauser shot. Chris is probably throwing some kind of mid-ranger putter here. He's trying to hit the gap, hazard down, hazard out a little bit, and get himself a putt. Yep. That's looking great. Just that. Mm -hmm. He should have a tap in. Come in and clean up that two. And with this putt right here, course record. Yep. As you just said. Course record by three strokes. Mm -hmm. Oh,
Thank <laughs> you. 